it's incredibly exciting. We're thrilled that this is happening. It's been a long time coming. It's been uh, planned for a long time, so we're very excited that it's finally happening. A popular lighthouse in Door County is getting some much needed improvements. Since 1868, the Eagle Bluff Lighthouse has helped protect ships passing around parts of the northwestern shoreline. Fox 11's Eric Peterson reports this is the first major restoration project in nearly 65 years. For the past few weeks, crews from the company National Restoration have been busy working on the Eagle Bluff Lighthouse at Peninsula State Park near Fish Creek. Lighthouse volunteer Ed Miller says upgrades have been in the works for years. We've been waiting for a long time to do the restoration. Eagle Bluff has a rich history and has needed a little tender loving care lately. So this is the first stage of some really needed repairs. A lot of the attention will focus on one space inside. Primarily they're working in the lantern room right now and um, ensuring that there isn't any uh, water leakage or um, water damage happening in the lantern room. Door County Historical Society Executive Director Amy Frank says the 156-year-old lighthouse is starting to show its age. Some of the, the brick is um, eroding, there's corrosion on some of the metal work, and, and those things just need to be taken care of before they become irreversible. Frank says improvements are expected to cost about $3.2 million. She says about a third of that has been raised through grants and private foundations. She says donations will help cover the expenses. Of course, there's been regular maintenance done to the lighthouse, but this is the first major project, so it's it's due. Work is scheduled to continue through the summer, but daily tours are expected to occur. The roof will go back to its original red. The side walls of the lantern will be white with some decorative uh, white on the insets, so it's really going to look fantastic when it's done. We, we just can't wait. In Door County, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Eagle Bluff Lighthouse is expected to be officially open to the public May 24th. Tell me about that. We have some work coming on uh, this spring at Eagle Bluff Lighthouse yep. here. What's happening? So we are uh, currently engaged in the immediate stabilization work of the restoration plan for Eagle Bluff Lighthouse. This is the work that needed to be done immediately to kind of stop the deterioration of the building. Um, so primarily they're working in the lantern room right now and um, ensuring that there isn't any uh, water leakage or um, water damage happening in the lantern room. They've got it um, all sandblasted out and they've primed it and are ready to paint it. Was the building falling into the, I mean, what, what, what you said stabilization, <laughs> what was yeah. happening? So it, immediate stabilization is basically just um, stopping the, the effects that time and weather have had on the building over the years. Okay. So, um, you know, some of the, the brick is um, eroding, there's corrosion on some of the metal work, and, and those things just need to be taken care of before they become irreversible. Is this the first time we're, we're attacking it this uh, hard, or is it the first time that it's really needed, needed this right. type of attention? So the Door County Historical Society in 1960 received permission from the state of Wisconsin to restore the lighthouse, which was vacant at that time and turn it into a museum, which was one of the first of its kind uh, on the Great Lakes. Okay. And we've been maintaining and managing the lighthouse ever since. So this is, um, this is yes, the most recent uh, major restoration that's been done since that one in 1960. But still, I mean, we're still 60 plus years. I mean, right, of course there's been regular maintenance done to the lighthouse, but this is the first major project. So it's, it's due. It, and then for people who, uh, or where's the money coming from? Is it from the, who's paying for all this? I know there's got to be a bunch of uh, people helping out. Uh. Yeah. So the project goal is $3.2 million. We've raised a little over a million dollars, primarily from um, grants and private foundations. Okay. Uh, and we'll be looking to ask the public for donations coming up to, to close that gap. And this is a unique place because we're on a state park, but you're a county, Dora County Historical right. Society. And that there's a lot of different uh, people at the table here anyway, isn't right. there? Right. So the lighthouse and the property, of course, is owned by the DNR. Um, the, the lighthouse operation, the navigational portion of the lighthouse, is managed by the U.S. Coast Guard. And then the Door County Historical Society, which is a private nonprofit, is our, we're really the stewards of the building and we take care of it. Uh, and then 
I heard the, the lens got taken out already? Is yes. Like last month or so? What yep. happened there? So because we were starting our work in the lantern room, we needed to remove the Fresnel lens as it's very fragile and there isn't a lot of room to move around up there. So we had to hire a lampist um, who is the U.S. Coast Guard certified to come and remove the uh, Fresnel lens from the lantern room and, and create it for safekeeping until, until it can be returned. When do you expect that to be put back in? By the 24th, maybe, or no? No, it won't be, it won't be there by the time we open. Okay. All right. And then when do you think this, uh, this uh, will be done, I guess? What's the next step in the timeline of restoration? Yeah, so this initial phase of work will take about two to three months. So it'll be going on throughout the summer, um, but we will be able to be open for public tours, so we won't have to close the lighthouse at all. Uh, so that'll take a couple of months, and then from there we will look to do um, restoration on the interior as well as the exterior. Uh, and then we're also looking at adding the barn and the summer kitchen that used to be on site, but have, has been lost over time. And then, so what... Are they going to paint outside this year? Or what, what's going to happen this year, I guess? So they, the um, windows will all be restored okay. to the way that they were and the, you know, the rotten wood taken care of. The brick will be repaired where it needs to be repaired and cleaned up. Um, the foundation walls will be cleaned up as well. And then on the inside, they'll do restoration work to the woodwork and to the walls and, and just um, areas that need restoring. Wow. What do you think? It's incredibly exciting. We're thrilled that this is happening. It's been a long time coming. It's been uh, planned for a long time, so we're very excited that it's finally happening. Wow, okay. Anything else you want to add about this? Uh, you, 24th of May, is that when you're, what's going to happen? So the lighthouse will open to the public on May 24th, and we're open for tours seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. So you'll still be able to tour inside and get up to the top? And well, you might not be able to go into the light tower. It might be closed when you're here. Okay. Um, we'll have it open as much as we can. Um, but you can't go up to the, to the lantern room. That will be closed. Okay. What is it about this place? Is it one of the, the hidden gems of Door County, or is it not one of the hidden gems? <laughs> I mean, what you yeah. guys like to shout... Uh, Shout, shout sure. I, I think a lot of people are familiar with Eagle Bluff Lighthouse, but what they might not be familiar with is the story that we tell because we um, are, we have restored the lighthouse to the time period of when the Duclon family lived here. And when they did that restoration back in 1960, the youngest of the Duclon boys was still alive and helped them with the restoration. So not only do we know what the lighthouse looked like back then from, from hearing from Walter Duclon, we have some of the original artifacts that the family had. But most importantly, we have the stories of the family from the 35 years that they lived here and operated the lighthouse. So we like to tell people that we are the lighthouse that has a story. And you're finally getting electricity out here? Is we that... are, yes. So electricity, we're hoping, will be um, brought to the site uh, late May or early June. And that will be the first time that Lighthouse has ever had electricity. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when, you heard, when you heard of that, I bet that got your attention. Wow, okay. Yeah. Anything else you want to add about the, the, the story? I don't think so. Asked? No, okay. uh -uh, we're good. All Thank right. you.